Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Global Online University channel. And here we are back with our UGC NET Paper 1 uh, questions, previous year questions on the topic research aptitude. Now going ahead, Global Online University has started with revision lectures as MCQs, which will be daily uh, telecasted for paper one at 8 a.m. in the morning and 8 p.m. in the evening. And this pattern will go on till the time the exams are uh, scheduled. At the same time, we have our complete course for paper one, which consists of 60 full syllabus test, full syllabus notes, video lectures, which you can avail with the help of um, downloading an application that is Global Online University. We also have our paid WhatsApp group. The number is reflecting on the screen and the fees for the same is triple nine rupees. Uh, here is an important announcement. We have, we'll be starting our new paid WhatsApp batch uh, from 2nd of May, 2021. The contact details are reflecting on the screen and the fees also is reflecting on the screen. So anyone who are interested in this can get in touch with the given number for the further details. Thank you. Let's start with our question for the day. Uh, research, Research is born out of what? Research is born out of human curiosity, human requirement, natural incidents, and none of this. Now, we have to say that 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 we have to discover karne ke liye, we are just you know curious about that so it's basically kya hai? human curiosity se research ka janma hua hai ya research is born out of human curiosity so the right option is option number a that is human curiosity next which of the following is the first step of research? Any research ka sabse pehla step konsa hai? Agar aapko research ke steps yaad hai. So identification of a problem sabse pehla step hai. But yaha unho ne options kya diya hai? Ye question thoda twist kiya hai. So read it very carefully. Identification of the subject. Identification of the nature of the problem. Yani subject it, it is nothing but a problem. Or us problem ke nature ko identify karna. Uh, is you know identification of a nature of problem both a and b and none of the above the none of the above hogani but it is both a and b and a problem as well as uska nature so that is the right answer the right answer is option number c question number three research uh, which of the following is not the characteristics of research characteristics not yane nahi hai. so research is systematic ye humne padha hai Research is problem oriented. Humne padha hai. Research is not passive because research is active. Hota hai. We always go for an active research. So research is not a process is the correct answer because research is a cyclic process. Okay, you have to follow certain steps. Aapko steps diye hai. Us steps ko aapko follow karna padta hai. And hence it is a process. So yahan pe unhone diya hai not a process. So this is the right answer for the question. That is option number B. Next, which of the following statement is correct? Konsa statement? Niche diyo, niche diye gaye. Konsa statement me se uh, statement correct wala statement konsa hai? Discoveries are researches. Researches led to discovery. Invention and research are related. None of the above. Okay. So discoveries are researches. Yani jab discovery hoti, usi research kaha jata hai? No. Invention and research are related. No, hum research existing uh, knowledge or existing uh, cheezo se bhi kar sakte hai. So invention and research is not one and the same. Invention mein kuch hum naya dhoon nikalte hai. We, in, we invent something new. Okay, but research dono ho sakta hai. Ya to something new, ya to you know which is related to existing. So they are not related. It depends upon the problem. It depends upon what your study area is, scope is kya hai. So research leads to discovery. So basically, if there is invention or existing knowledge, bhi hai, basically it is about what? It is about discovery. So the right option is option number B. Next question. Which of the following statement is correct? 
in research objectives in research objectives can be worded in question form in research objectives can be worded in statement form and objectives can be stated in chapter 1 of the thesis so yes question form mein bhi ho sakte hai objectives statement form mein bhi ho sakte hai ya to wo chapter 1 चैप्टर वन में इंक्लूड होते हैं ऑफ द थीसिस सो डेफिनेटली ऑल द अबाव आर द राइट आंसर्स फॉर द और द राइट स्टेटमेंट फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट वन अ रिसर्चर इज जनरली एक्सपेक्टेड टू डू व्हाट जो पर्सन रिसर्च करता है वो जनरली उससे क्या एक्सपेक्ट किया जाता है स्टडी द एग्जिस्टिंग लिटरेचर इन द फील्ड उसे एग्जिस्टिंग सिर्फ एग्जिस्टिंग लिटरेचर पढ़ना है या उसे नए प्रिंसिपल्स और थियोरीज को जनरेट करना है या सिंथेसाइज करना है आइडियाज को जिस जो दूसरों से ऑलरेडी दिए हुए हैं या इवेलुएट करना है सी एग्जिस्टिंग लिटरेचर हमें पढ़ना होता है आइडियाज को एनालिसिस या सिंथेसाइज करना पड़ता है इवेलुएट भी इवेलुएट करके यानी असेसमेंट करके हमें फाइंडिंग्स को स्टडी करना पड़ता है बट इसको अगर हम कंबाइन करते हैं तो वी गेट वन जनरिक प्रिंसिपल दैट इज जनरेट न्यू प्रिंसिपल्स एंड थियोरीज सो द आंसर फॉर ऑल दिस विल बी वन दैट इज जनरेट न्यू प्रिंसिपल्स एंड थियोरीज दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द ट्रू इज ट्रू अबाउट एक्सपोज फैक्टो स्टडी दैट इज कॉल्ड एज डिस्क्रिप्टिव स्टडी so the investigators attempt to trace an effect which is already occurs to its probable cause yani ye cause and effect ke bare mein study karte hain okay the effect becomes dependent variable the investigators have no direct control on such variables okay so uh, yes descriptive variable distributed descriptive study ko ye x facto इस एक्स पोस्ट फैक्टो स्टडी कहा जाता है जिसमें हम कॉज एंड इफेक्ट के बारे में हमें स्टडी स्टडी करते हैं ओके डिपेंड इफेक्ट कहाँ पे इट डिपेंड इट इज ऑन द डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल जो हमारे डायरेक्ट कंट्रोल में नहीं होते हैं सो ऑल द अबाव आर वॉट आर द एक्चुअली ट्रू स्टेटमेंट्स फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन सो ऑप्शन नंबर सी डी विल बी द राइट आंसर नेक्स्ट नाउ A researcher selects probability uh, that is out of one fifty, uh, sorry, one fifty out of total population. अभी क्या probability है? तो ये किस में आएगा? इस cluster में, या random में, या stratified में, या systematic sampling में? I have done uh, first lecture में मैंने probability और non probability के आपको techniques बताए थे. So obviously ये random random sampling है out of you know total population same one fifty out of total population. So आप कैसे find out करोगे? You will just pick it up. So that is called as what randomly sample random sampling. Sorry, that is option number B. Next. A researcher wants to study the future of the Congress in India. For the study, which tool is most appropriate? अगर आपको future के बारे में Congress के future के बारे में पढ़ना है in India, as an example, तो कौन सा study useful होगा? Is it questionnaire? Is it schedule? It is interview or is it rating scale? So definitely, सबसे best tool होगा जो है questionnaire. So option A is the right answer. Next, field study is related to what? Field study is also called as empirical study. That is real life situation study. Okay, so field study is not known as experimental or laboratory or none of the above. But field study is related to what? Real life situation. So option A is the right answer. Uh, now this is my third lecture for research. ये तीसरा lecture है research का इसके पहले भी मैंने लेक्चर्स क्वेश्चन एम सी क्यू पैटर्न्स में किए हैं कुछ थियोरी लेक्चर्स भी किए हैं बट स्टूडेंट्स बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स के रिक्वेस्ट थी कि वो एम सी कि हम एम सी क्यू पैटर्न में ही लेक्चर्स कंडक्ट करें सो व्हाट आई एम प्लानिंग इज दैट ये पूरी वीक हम एम सी क्यू पैटर्न करेंगे रिसर्च के नाउ मैनी स्टूडेंट्स सम स्टूडेंट्स हैव ऑल्सो पोस्टेड कि एक एक लेक्चर में फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन होने चाहिए बट आइडली वो हमने मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज में कंप्लीट किया था बट जब जैसे ही ये पूरा रिविजन हो जाएगा मोस्ट प्रॉबली संडे तक हम ऐसे ही पैटर्न में रिवाइज करेंगे और मंडे को एक uh, प्रॉपर फिफ्टी सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन का टेस्ट होगा प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन एम सी क्यूज 
so that those students who are interested in this uh, huge amount of practice questions unke liye monday ko ek 50 questions ka set hoga jahan pe aap pure research topics ko i will involve aur aap acche se revise kar sakte ho so just stay tuned aap videos dekhte jao and small questions se productivity badhti hai so till the time hum ek week revise karenge aur fir last day pe let us monday pe hum iske 50 questions ke ek video banayenge which will help you to include all the topics of recent papers also aur aapko ek acha revision milega and you can keep on your practice going on for your upcoming examination so thank you very much stay tuned keep watching the videos agar aapko kuch lagta hai if you feel you want you know you want to speak about something so please put your message in the comment box we will get back to you and tomorrow we'll be back with our mcq questions for research aptitude thank you everyone see you tomorrow have a good day